There's no Eddie Cavani chant at the start of this one. 2-2 against Leicester. I would say that was a very fair result given what happened in the game. Rashford putting United 1-0 up. Harvey Barnes equalising. Fernandez coming up with what looked like it could have been the winner. But Vardy equalised within a few minutes. And I think 2-2 was a fair result of the performance. Let me know what, what your feelings are on the game in the comments below. Who was your man of the match? What do you think the problems were in the match? I'm going to run through mine in this reaction. But the first point has to be that miss from Rashford in the first minute. Bruno Fernandes dinking a ball over the top. But Rashford this season, he's scoring, but he needs like three chances to score that goal. He's just not being clinical. And I think that's probably United's United's two biggest problems were clearly on show today. Number one this season, it's our lack of clinical finishing. As I said, we as a, as a team, we need two or three chances to guarantee the goal. It's frustrating as hell. We had, we had the opportunity to win that match. We created the chances, enough chances to win that match and continue that mad away win streak, which I think well, is now stopped, but I don't know whether it was just undefeated, but... I think a draw with Leicester, given the, given the buzz of Leeds and then continuing with Everton, I wanted to see that progression today. I, I just didn't want to see United go backwards. I don't think we went backwards, but I think we stagnate, we stalled a little bit. And I think the finishing was largely part, part of that. But Christ almighty, we cannot play the ball out from the back. It is painful watching United play out from the back with the ball, or at least try to. Harry Maguire losing himself. Bruno Fernandes trying to get a nutmeg. Scott McTominay deciding not to defend. And De Gea deciding not to save. Plenty of players at fault for that Harvey Barnes equaliser. But as I said, that passing out from the back, I find it so frustrating. I, I hate it. Yet we persist with it. Harry Maguire, he puts... I personally feel his passes put people into problems. And I don't get why we don't just clear it. It's clearly coming from a coaching perspective. Because if a different manager came in that didn't like that, we play differently. But this is down to Solskjaer wanting to get his players playing the modern style of defending to be confident and good with the ball at your feet and play it out from the back. Sure, if you are good with it, sorry, if you are good with it, do it. But we are not. Why do we persist? We're the architect of our own problems in that sense. Going into that second half... Um, Something I think Solskjaer did very well in that game was substitutions. I think Dan James coming off, he was crap for the first 45, getting pushed off the ball everywhere. Anytime he touched the ball, it was a bad first touch, so it invited a Leicester player onto him. Dan James should not be starting football matches for Manchester United, period. Bring him on when the situation is a bit like Mario and Fellaini. I never ever thought Fellaini should start for United, but I could understand bringing him on in certain situations where his assets as a player was something that could help change the game. Dan James, you can use him in that sense. When United needs to chase a game that, against a team that are high pressing, use his pace in behind. Fine, don't start the guy though. Not with Popper on the bench, not with Van der Beek on the bench, not with Cavani. There's so many players that could play instead of Dan James. Don't do it anymore. Leave it at that. Now, Cavani coming on, that was another great substitution. And another game changer. Well, unfortunately, because of that. Equaliser from Vardy. It wasn't a game-winning uh, sort of contribution from Cavani, but he came off the bench. A lovely little dink through. He is changing games from the bench. You've got Southampton, you've got Everton, and you've got today there against Leicester. As three examples off the top of my head, and he may have done it in other ones as well. Cavani is far more than a Falcao. He's far more like a Zlatan than he is a Falcao, and I can't wait to see what he continues to do, but it's frustrating to see what happened towards the end there. A good cross from, I think it was Perez. Vardy just lost by, and then it was unlucky. They are there, they're basically sucking Vardy off there, but if Tuanzebi wasn't there, that goes about six yards wide, probably. Huge deflection off Tuanzebi. Unlucky in that sense, but... Bad game management for United. Bad game management. We had six, seven minutes there to see out a 2-1 win, get it into the corners, get it up to Cavani. Instead, we were getting undone by that press from Leicester. We really were. And that's why I said that Pogba substitution was so important for United because prior to that, we were just we had no presence in midfield. I don't know whether Pogba made too much of a difference, but clearly he did. And Bruno Fernandes, man. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Another goal, another assist. He's got like 31 contra He's got more goals and assists than he has Premier League appearances for United, I think. The guy's a machine. 
an absolute machine. A really classy finish. I think it was an assist that he purposefully went for for Rashford. He saw him look up before the ball came across, so he knew Rashford was there. He knew he was doing... The guy is... It, he is going to be the sort of... He is going to be the player that takes us up that level if we can do it. Now, Leeds was a massive shift for United to come out firing so early on against a team that is good and do it so well. That was massive. And to continue that against Everton, we were great in the first 20, poor for 60, but we got the winners towards the end. And today there, we came out firing again. We should have been 1-0 up within one minute. But we didn't because we missed our chances. And that lack of clinical finishing and that inability to play out from the back with the ball, they are the two issues facing United right now with Solskjaer. And they need to be resolved. Players have to get more clinical. They have to take their chances because you score early on there, it changes the game completely. Leicester can't focus just on the press on us. They have to chase the game, leave space in behind. Dan James may have made a difference at that point. United have to be clinical. Maguire, a Lindelof at right back. No. No, 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 no. Twanzevi, I thought he was decent against Everton. I thought it was strange he didn't really start a right back today. But no. No, 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 no. Not Lindelof there. Move on from that one. By the mad genius that he is, he, he, he's a, a buy his buy, man. But I quite enjoy him watching him play at the moment. That's what happens. And then, touch wood, it doesn't happen again. But we all know he's going to get injured in a few weeks. And then the cycle will continue. Maguire, I find so frustrating. So frustrating to watch. I mean, he's had, he must have had like 500 headers. He's won from free kicks and corners that have gone over the bar. His passing out from the back is very, very questionable, but he plays every minute for United. Solskjaer trusts him, and I think he does He does help that defence. But he doesn't help it all the time, that is for sure. David De Gea, I think he could have saved that, if I'm being honest. De Gea of a couple of years ago would have 100% saved that. But I think 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 sorry, as I said. I personally feel that's a completely fair result for the how the game swung. But that game was United's there to win. We missed the big chances. We created our own problems in defence. And those things, they can be resolved, man. They can be resolved. Clinical finishing is down to confidence, and I'm sure that will continue to improve. Martial finally getting a goal the other day. Good finish from him when he got put through from Rashford, but it was offside. Rashford is, as I said, right now, he's a, he's a one, in, one in three, one in four striker. Cavani isn't. Cavani's clinical as hell. And maybe he should be starting more. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. As I said, fair fair result there, 2-2. Two, two. I'm happy enough with it. I'm frustrated that United couldn't see the game out, but you can see that the quality is continuing to improve. And that wasn't a step backwards for me. It's a, it's a step sideways. And after the, the positives from, from Leeds and, and the continued positives from Everton, I, I'll take that over the festive period. December was December's always a bit mad. So we've got another game in a few days. Let's see how United get on there. But let me know what your reaction is in the comments below. 2-2. Two, two. I'm happy enough with that. Are you? Let me know what you think.